So, hello, good morning, Mark. Hello, good morning. Good morning. So, thank you all for um, meeting us today. We are just about to start another Physics Connected Value uh, session. Today, we'll be focusing on uh, ceiling perforations on flat roofs. I'll be followed uh, by my colleague, Marty Ram, which is part of the technical uh, department. So, thank you, Mark. Hi, good morning. So for those who are here the first time, just to let you know, we have a chat uh, available um, somewhere in your screen. So feel free to leave any comment um, or question during our presentation. So uh, roof penetrations, this is a, a very a common thematic. We've been discussing this a lot in the past weeks. Um, and when it comes to, to roof penetrations, we need to be extra careful, look into details to this type of penetration, how we're going to seal it. Because um, most of the common solutions we see on market, um, I mean, today we focus on flat roofs, but this is could apply to pretty much any type of, of perforations. Um, is the uh, having um, this sort of a ceiling or mastics or this sort of a pitch pockets um, using um, some rigid membranes, some asphalt membranes to try to seal. And, and the main problem of having this type of, of sealing around this type of penetrations um, is because they do not allow uh, the materials to work together so they, they doesn't have any flexibility. And we know, for instance, when you have a just a asphalt roof with a metal penetration, um, those materials work differently. Uh, eventually, will start uh, cracking, um, and again, uh, leading to a series of problems. The main one will be, of course, um, if it's not proper sealed, that you have a leaking inside the building. So here we have a couple of examples. This is a, a sort of a, a balustrade. So the one is just coming through the roof exactly. Uh, so here is a another um, common situations. In this case, um, what the customers tried to uh, to do was actually uh, weld um, the tube with the roof itself. So you have sort of this uh, this metal roof, metal plate, um, and they welded the whole thing all around, and including. Uh, around the, the penetration itself. And again, uh, this is all fine. I mean, uh, uh, welding uh, is probably one of the, the strongest bonding when it comes to how to, to seal a, a joint between a material. Um, but you, you here you will have, um, of course, many, many other problems eventually, because again, this material is totally exposure. So it's expected a, a, a lot of, uh, um, certain conditions outside and they will work absolutely different when applied to this type of, of materials, this type of penetrations. Um, the other thing important to mention, again, uh, so it remains very rigid, all this type of penetration, so it does not allow these materials to work separately or even uh, together simultaneously. Um, so Mark, what are the things we, we can highlight about this, these pictures, the, the main problems we see here? Um, yes, um, we can say the main problem when we when we talk about the welding and uh, and all the stuff, as you just said, it's really in normal to use it. It's and we can say it's efficient, um, but sometimes in long term uh, we don't have um, the efficiency or the guarantee uh, we we wanted at the beginning or, or we expect at the beginning. So uh, with time, we see um, depends on the situation as, as, as always, but um, we see with all the movements of the of the roof of the materials dilatation etc. Um, these kind of welds um, can be break. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. So uh, here is some um, other type of um, application. So here you have this, this roof tile. Uh, as I mentioned, they made this sort of a, this pitched uh, pocket around it. Same thing here when you have this is antenna. And again, so um, not not even to mention the, the aspect of it, the, the whole look, but of course, um, not, not a very durable solution at all in comparison to the one we're going to present today. 
that's another very common thing. So it, even when you have here in the sort of parapet wall, it's follow straight. So you have this um, sort of obeying crossing um, penetration. So quite hard to seal around this type of points. Yeah. And so the one um, you see is started uh, even to crack um, the whole surface. Um, and, and again, all around the perimeter of this, this penetration will of course lead to a, a leak inside a building. So what we decided to brought today is our solution. This is, we call it a thesis multi-shaper, which is part of the, the stopper solution. Uh, you all are aware about stopper. So multi-shaper is the new solution we decided to brought, uh, I think, um, about um, second uh, part of, of last year. Um, so this is a very innovative solution. Uh, we're going to discuss about all the aspects of a solution. So it's pretty much a flexible material that allows you to shape it or mold it around the penetrations and along with some accessories, in this case, uh, a pouring ceiling, um, a filling ceiling, this is, we'll see, uh, seal all the penetrations on roof. So uh, here is a, a little bit about the composition, the features about this material. So it's, it comes, I would say, in one meters um, long uh, membrane, this curve, and it's very flexible. It's, it's composed by a aluminum in this, this rubber uh, material, which allows you to shape it as you want it. So it's adapted to any geometry, any configuration. You, you can shape it as you want, as you see here. And this is a few examples. You have this sort of a oval, this um, just a circular shape, but you name it, you can shape it as you want it. So uh, it doesn't need, it doesn't have any additional materials, additional accessories in comparison to other solutions. So everything you want for this type of installation, it comes as part of the kit for an installation. Um, it's very easy to install. We will we, we talk about this today, how it's installed, how it's applied. I'll say that sometimes not less than 10 minutes you can apply this. And again, it's comparable to most of, of the uh, the substract, most of the materials we see applied on on roof. Correct, Mark? Is there anything I forgot to mention here? Just, just, just a, a quite quick overview uh, about the product itself. Yes, yes, um, um, absolutely. It's um, really compatible. The system, we talk uh, later about this, it's um, composed of three three elements and all of the elements uh, has um, resistant of UVs, resistant of water. It um, resists really extreme temperatures. We use this uh, solution a lot in, in Middle East market. So uh, we have um, ha really, really high temperatures there. So it's... Um, I think uh, first of all the resistant it's uh, it's one of the most important uh, properties and then the flexibility it's completely flexible um, we can um, level this um, curve in in any shape in in even one meter we can use for one penetration even two three depends of the of the dimension or even we can join the uh, several meters and and do a, a very big penetration so it's um it's like no limits uh, with this we can play a little bit with hands and and and, and use it as we want it and of course it's um eco-friendly really important uh, these days and so i don't know i think um all the all the guarantees uh, with with the resistant with the compatible of materials the flexibility and above all at the beginning, uh, with uh, the the previous stopper, it's it always uh, fixed. We couldn't uh, um, use it in, in in some situations, and with this new form, um, uh, the flexibility to apply. Yeah, the flexibility is yeah. amazing. So yeah, correct. I think it will be more clear when it comes to the, the practical examples and even how we do install it. Yeah. Uh, so as we mentioned, this is very uh, versatile. It says compared to the most uh, substrates, it, it fits it fit to any element. So it's simple, it's simple to handle, it's easy to transport. As I mentioned, it comes in this one meter long uh, membrane already pre-shaped. So you don't have to, to worry when it comes to logistics or transportation, it, it's quite easy. Um, and as Mar mentioned, depending on the diameter of the, the penetration itself or how you're going to shape it, one uh, in one curb, one membrane could fit to uh, multiple uh, dimensions. 
Yeah. So as part of the system composition, uh, um, it's besides the membrane or the multi-shaper itself, um, we have two other accessories. In this case, we have the stopper one deep sealant, which is a, a self-leaving um, uh, leveling uh, portable sealant um, that you just uh, fill uh, the the curb cell, the multi-shaper cell with this sealant. And the other one is the one, the M1 sealant that we use um, to uh, apply in the whole perimeter um, to stake to the surface um, the multi-shaper. You can also use the M1 sealant uh, if you have, for instance, uh, vertical penetrations, uh, for instance, uh, facade penetrations, you can even use that. Uh, we'll see a couple examples of this in the, in the end of the, the presentation. Um, so we replace uh, the M1, the, the one piece, sorry, for the M1 sealant. So um, we supply this in kits. Um, it could be just uh, a single membrane, it could be three, it could be five membranes, uh, so um, multiples of that. Um, the kit is composed by the membranes itself. Uh, we um, also send, for instance, this metal clips that once you uh, curb around you want it and then you just attach the clip. So for instance, uh, a one um, even one um, kit membrane, it comes for instance, with three metal clips. So for which one you can do uh, three um, uh, curbs, for instance. So here is just a, a very practical, very intuitive installation. Um, so first thing um, we we should, we always recommend is make sure that the surface is, is clean. Um, depending on the surface, you can use just a, a, a normal cleaner that you have, but we can even supply a, a, a cleaner for this type of surface. So um, you check um, the diameter if it's a circular a penetration or depending on you want. Um, and then using our guide, for instance, you can even have a reference how exactly you need to cut, uh, leaving the exactly marks that we indicate. So you cut the membrane according to the guide that we have. Um, you shape it um, as you desire. This is could be any geometry, uh, as we mentioned. And then you place it um, for a minimum of, of 25 millimeters of the penetration. This is what we always recommend. This is a safe distance. Um, so you mark uh, the exterior perimeter using just a pencil, remove the curve aside, and then you will use the M1 sealant. Uh, you apply this in the whole uh, base of the, um, the multi-shaper. So once you apply that, uh, we always recommend some to coat it with the same um, product, the M1, uh, the penetration itself. So I'll say um, at least 75 uh, from the, the bottom of the application for Agmar. And then um, you can just use it and apply the, the curb cell. You position the multi shaper and you insert the metal clip and then you fill it with the one piece sealant. So quite easy, quite intuitive. Here you have just a quick animation of all the steps we mentioned. Yes, we can see it's it's really it's really easy. As at the beginning, we say it maybe ten um, minutes, ten fifteen minutes, maybe at the beginning twenty. But when when you start doing um, in 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 a row, it's it's really fast. Yeah, and, and it's important to mention. So um, all this it comes with the manual installation, some some specific guides for the application you have. Um, as part of the technical department, Mark even mentioned a little bit more about this. So what we always do, uh, even for instance, estimations, uh, we, we just check exactly in the type of penetration you have. We make the whole um, quote based on the exactly quantity of materials that you need. Um, and that's why, um, that's how we can supply uh, for the final customers this whole solution personalized, having uh, the available materials and everything you need. So very easy, very simple, and in fast application. Yeah. And besides that, we always, uh, of course, at site, if it's in some sort of a training or um, guidance at site is, is requested, we go at site, we, we help the guys to install this. So here we have just a couple of uh, application examples. Uh, Mark, can you just go through a little bit of this? Yes, um, in, in this situation, we had um, in, in a roof some penetrations that uh, at the end they're going to be covered. 
So uh, with a kind of solution, we can say um, it's uh, in 24 hours, it's completely dry and the, and the top. So uh, when you use it um, at, at the very first moment, it's, it's, um, it's watertight uh, since the beginning. And then the middle um, in, inside uh, all the curve uh, can be dry in, in a few weeks, in a few months. No? It it's, depends on the temperature. But at the beginning, since, since the very first moment, the top is completely, it's completely used useful. So uh, in this situation, uh, we use uh, the, 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 st the, the stopper, the multi-shaper, but then, as I said, uh, it's going to be covered. So the, the final look is completely, it's completely very good looking. And, um, and, and, and we can say it, it, it it's compatible with with all these kind of materials we see here is three because different in this, in this case mark uh, I mean, the, the the solution the whole solution is designed to be a yeah. total exposure um, we, we of course because of the rubber materials all the sealants the the one p the burn sealer is applied is very uv stable it's designed completely to be completely exposure in this case i think yeah, but sometimes it's, it's no, interesting yeah. yeah in this case i think it's interesting because the client decided just um, for some um, even uh, nicer uh, architectural looks for the other yeah. you have to yeah, cover you, where yeah, some, you, you uh, some gravel whatever. stones yeah you can put even whatever uh, over is it's going to be it's, it's going to be good and and it's not going to break or, or something yeah in this case uh, what we only recommend is to let it uh, set a little bit i mean this will occur over time depending on on of course the area of the, the penetration itself the application this will occur over time this is always depend uh, i'll say to let it set as much as possible and then you can just uh, cover up if you want it this is up to uh, the client's preference and um, so here is more of the uh, application um this is when it comes to um this um industrial applications roofing applications you, you have all this type of pipings, all this type of crossing, um, and just to show the possibilities of the materials, you can apply um, to all of this. If it's a, if it's a very uh, uh, pitched or have a very high uh, slope, what we do always recommend is instead of using the 1P sealant uh, for the M1, so you can still use it. Um, I, I mean, we have some precautions about that, correct, Mark? This is always was designed for more flat surface. When it comes to yeah. the inclinated you know, slope surface, we have other solutions. Yes, uh, we have other solutions, but when we use this in inclinations, in, in a very um, in, in, in sloped uh, roofings, we use as well, uh, not only in the vertical, the M1 instead of the 1P. And even with uh, when it's a very, very high temperatures, uh, we have another sealant for, for this uh, situation in particular uh, to, yeah, it stands uh, very, very chimneys or something like that, uh, temperatures. Absolutely. So here I think it's quite so, uh, very common. This is, uh, you, you, we all face it as um, commercial or industrial application. We all face it. Yeah. Even this one year, um, this, is, this is very common. Uh, other one, let's just show the first example. If, uh, we have that antenna, so what we did is remove all the materials that was uh, previously applied, uh, clean all the surface, and then we use the solution, uh, which is very durable, uh, quite simple, um, and gave you even a, a better look in the end, so more uh, simple of what it was actually applied there. Again, this is the uh, same um, pictures I mentioned in the beginning, so client have this, uh, this situation, what we did, was just applied um, the multi shaker. Uh, in this case, you see there, we uh, what we recommend is since the membrane itself has a, a five centimeters, it's just to have uh, the actually um, make sure that with five centimeters we were able to cover not only this this bottom part but the whole part until here. I'll say uh, pretty much of that. So it fit perfectly exactly for this this type of application. So. Um, Thank you for attending. Um, I think this is uh, quite simple. Uh, we mentioned all the solution a couple of times and just make sure that this is available, all this information, additional things you need on the website. But if you have any other um, questions, something more technical, I'll be glad to forward that to Mark. 
Um, so once again, thank you so much for attending this episode of Connect to Value. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you, John.